Hey guys, it's Chaos Maelstrom here. And Cam Bark Fire 4. Yep, he is joining me again, and I just realized I turned off the music for when I was exploring the item world. Sorry about that. Well, either way, welcome back to Sky Hour of Darkness. Last time, I suffered through the item world for you guys and cut out everything else. I went back to the item world a few times and uh, included uh, getting everybody some nice stuff. I don't have a level 10... I am equipped to a Harl yet, but all I have to do is equip one and then the, the, the gate to the next level will open permanently. As you can see, we, I also got some uh, nice items from the item world. I will show off my equipment really quickly. Not showing off them all in depth. You might notice I level up this thing, which I got in the item world. This is a legendary monster item. Very nice. I was very lucky when I was upgrading it in the item world, so... Before I go into the next stage, I want to do a promotion exam with Laharl. We're going to take on... Give me a minute. I just realized I wasn't fully healed. Yeah, another thing about going to the Iron World is you get a lot of money from it, so it's very nice. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and do the exam for rank 3. Even though somebody else already passed it, I did off screen. I passed it for, uh, Prinny Cameron. Now, but you're wondering, why the hell did you do that? And how? Well, a lot of, a lot of, um, leveling me up in the item world. There was a bit of leveling him up, but mainly I took all of our best equipment and I put it to him. And, oh no, this is going to do so much damage. No, it didn't. It only did four. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so Laharl has a ninja sword equipped now, as you see, and it's quite a bit more powerful. Not uber powerful. We have Laharl's back to the Hell Pepperer. Oh. And he's gonna Hell Pepper his minions, of course. I bet you're wondering, why did you let them all gang up on you like that? Well, so I could do this. Breaking and nothing. <laughs> They're pretty much gone. Oh, as some of our my Hawkeye viewers may have noticed, uh, Laharl is also quick with cross trainers. That is why he, he has plus one movement, and his speed is also increased a bit. Now, I, for one, am going to move over here and hopefully not get killed by this guy. Hopefully. We shall see. All right, and now I shall... Um, win. Heal myself, and then I'm going to head back over there. You must kill Sword I, Gremlin! I also, uh... Stop making common I'll references. I'll make all the references I want! Yes, I'm gonna heal myself real quick. You know, I also notice I've taught Laharl a sport, which was very difficult because I, he had to learn it through me, and my magic mastery is shit. Talking mushrooms. Now then, that should be enough. I have a feeling he's gonna use Hellpepper again, so I'm just gonna defend... Actually, no, I should be over here so he can't get a back attack off on me. And... Oh, guess not. Okay, well, either way, he shall soon be dead. I shall be merciful on him and let him live a bit more. Okay, now you're dead. In truth, I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> really? You hit it so well. Alright, so Harl has passed the exam. What new bills does that allow us to pass now? Well, only really one, but... Oh, I take that back. You can also improve the counterattack, which adds another counter to your character. But more importantly, transmigrate. I bet you're thinking, what the hell does that mean? I actually have no idea what that word means. Transmigrate's character as in starting from level one. Now I bet you're thinking, why the hell would I want my character to go back to level one? There are many different reasons for this. And I will be showing off some of that in this episode, or more accurately, the very end of this episode. But, aside from that, we will ignore all that for now. A aside from that, we will ignore all that for now. Riveting commentary, I know. Uh, you know what? I don't even think I need to use you for this next map. Because, uh, oh wait, hold on. Hold on a second. I bet you're wondering why I did that. That was my level 10 amulet that I equipped. Prince, I see you have a level 10 plus item equipped. I will now add Denaro Palace to the list of available areas. 
Once the gate is open, it will remain open. You no longer have to equip an item at level 10 or higher. Dinero Palace! Sounds rich to me! <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see what's there! Dude! We'll work hard for our paycheck! And, you know what that means? I'm gonna unequip this thing immediately! Let me go find my dark rosary I got for a surprise from the hospital again. Alright, heal up and then we will go to the next map because I bet you guys are starving for some more material from me. So, save real quick, just in case the next map doesn't go as planned. And now, off we go to Dinero Palace. To the gaudy entrance! <laughs> Let's go! Alright, here we are, and as we can see, we have Alan! <laughs> that's exactly what I was gonna do. I knew you were, that's why I was waiting for it. And uh now the biggest problem here is gonna be this guy. How do you pronounce that? Need heart need heart need heart um I'm I'm pretty sure there's a very Dora And there is Dora um make what you will of that name, Dora the Explorer, which Pandora, it's up to you guys. I'm probably over leveled for this map now that I think about it, but what has that ever stopped me before? Let's go knock some heads. So Or more accurately, time to bust some balls. Yes, that's what the uh, male warrior class says in uh this guy of four. That's one of his things when you dispatch, because in Lair this guy games, as soon as you dispatch a character from the base panel, they usually have a little catchphrase or something they do, and the male warrior almost always goes, time to bust some balls! So, yeah. We should stop referencing things that I'm, I'm gonna have to explain in depth. NEVER! Oh, I don't think I've ever really shown off Blonde in combat much before, um... What I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna change Edna's target from this guy to this guy. It's probably more than enough, but... Now let me execute those commands. You're dead. That's what Skylunch looks like. I know I shouldn't have done before, but it's very impressive and I always enjoy it. Oh, she's so adorable! What the hell? How did you not kill him? He's a brawler! Look at that resistance! Oh, it's not even higher than his defense, huh? Okay, well, in that case... Congratulations! You are to set a new low because you got beaten by the worst class in the game! That is absolutely pathetic. And... I'll have Glax. No, not, maybe not that close because those brawlers are gonna come. Even though they're equipped with bows, you might think, why would you want to do that if they have such terrible mastery with bows? Well, even if the class does generally have terrible mastery with bows, usually if they're, uh, like, generated on a map or anything by computers, they're going to have skills and, uh, good, uh, level, level mastery with them anyways. Even if they're terrible with the weapon. As you can see, these are my, uh, mages I have, so I can teach Flan spells. Let's see, do we get any EXP bonus? No, we do not, okay? There's none that's obtainable. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and dispatch Laharl, then. Since these guys are probably going to attack me from a distance, I'm gonna have to defend. And... What the hell? Probably because, spoiler alert, this might be the last map I plan on using this pretty. What? So, I'm gonna dispatch you right now, and, uh, is there anything else I can equip you with? No? Okay, well, I'll just have you dispatch to die. I like to die, dude! And, enemy turn. Wait. Wait, what? 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 Why did they move? Which Pandora's tired of you crap. <laughs> She's to defeat you herself. Well, actually, she'd be more like... Anyways. <laughs> I'm still astounded at how on how stupid the AI was that turn. But either way, gonna show off Cameron's pretty barrage, even though this will. Here I come. Wait, 
Wait. Oh. No, no, I did I, I didn't even uh, did what? Glitch counter goes up again. I I forgot that. I wasn't paying attention when I was Yes. You weren't paying attention when you yes. Yes. Okay, just make sure that's what you said. And to have Etna stab this guy through the hall. And he's gonna counter with You can counter with a bow. Yeah, and somehow a heart didn't take any damage from that. <laughs> Even though he was standing right in between them. This probably won't do much, but just so she does something. And uh, you're saying? Alright. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, off screen, she learned Shield! Now, that is actually a skill that healers learn. It increases your target's temp defense temporarily. You can use it on the whole party, which is very nice once you level it up enough. So yeah, I highly suggest you guys keep that in mind for when you're planning other stuff. Uh, you know what? Just for shits and giggles, I'll unload these printies, even though they're probably not going to be doing any Where's the other printy? Even though they're not going to be doing anything. Sure, just, you can't just let me have my moment to shine. You have to deploy other pretties as well. Yeah, who knows? Maybe that'll bait, the, bait yeah. these guys to come out. Huh? Oh. Huh? I cannot see what's going on because there's a pillar in the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, this guy. Yeah, we haven't met, ran into a character that uses an axe yet, I don't think. Axes are very powerful weapons. They have the best attack stat of any weapon around. So what's their drawback? They uh, have very low hit power, so you're probably going... Should I start over? I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not sure how loud we are actually. Y you know what? We should just keep it? Maybe? <laughs> I think it's a bad idea if we keep going like this. Wait a minute! Well, what if, what if this is actually good? What if the what if it's actually can pick us up really good? Okay, hold on a second. Alright, does that change the- No, it does not! Um, hold on a minute. How about now? Okay, there it is! I bet that sounds horrible! <laughs> But whatever, you guys under basically understand me, so... <laughs> uh, we're probably just gonna keep this in for shits and giggles. Of course. Just like dispatching these printies I did. Alright, um... I, for one, am going to hurricane slash this guy because I want to get him off the field quickly. Axes, they, all their specials and everything about them, it only works on the space exactly in front of them. So... It's very difficult to use, but if you can use an axe properly, it can be pretty devastating. <laughs> Hence with wife, that's exactly what I did with Etna on my first playthrough of this game. Because she has an A rank with axes as well. I did it with the, I did it with the broad because I thought I wanted him to be exactly with the black Target, I of course! It's the most annoying thing about this game. Jeez. They finally have a hard we wait for this effect? Oh my gosh. I can't believe I went that long in the recording without realizing I haven't even plugged in the cable yet. Okay, I noticed! Yeah! You're dead. That is gonna sound so horrible. Because it's gonna pick up the game audio in the background so much. And are, are we really that having that easy of a time here? Uh, the stage is not as bad as I thought it was going to be at all. So hard to buy good health these days. Alright, well, in that case, I guess we are done. Alright. Well, now that's all over and done with. Let's see what the party is up to. That was annoying. Are you sure you still want to hit this place, Prince? Absolutely! No way is even one hell of mine going to these stupid printies! This is just wrong. Could you feel even a little bad about what you're doing? Not one bit. 
Pardon me, my lord, but the pretty seem to be having a hard time... functioning. Are they slacking off again? Leave it to me. I'll set them straight. No, I don't think that's the problem. Cash! Money! This place is loaded with it, dude! It's driving me mad! Shut your trap! Don't even think about hoarding any for yourself! I can't take it, dude! This place is loaded with treasure! Ah! 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 Do prinnies usually do that? Weird. They don't ever seem to explode on their own. Well, that's one less vassal I'll have to be paying. It's all good. Treasure, riches, this place is loaded with it, I tell you! <laughs> oh, I feel different now. Why do I suddenly feel more vibrant? Hold on a second now. You can't be that printing that just exploded, can you? Eh? Wow, I have a new body. It's not too different than what I'm used to. I feel alive again! And yet, somehow this buff sign doesn't match his sprite at all. You can't be serious. How the heck can a pretty suddenly reincarnate on the spot like that? If you were that pretty, then how did you do that? <gasps> I don't know. But all that matters now is that I, Cameron, legendary treasure hunter hero, have now arrived, and I shall raid this place of money in the name of justice! Wow, he's so cool! I... I don't think everyone else here has the same opinion, Flan. Hold on. You technically didn't reincarnate, right? If that's the case, then you're still my loyal pet. Eh? <laughs> I'm a different demon now. That means that I can't... Can it! You may be in a different body, but you're still my peon. Now, get the tracking down at least for us! But, but, oh, yes, Master Etna. Fine, but I'm still not paying him! Back from the map, and as we can see, Cameron is once again in the group, except somehow he's turned back to level one, because he's reincarnated. Yes, tra it's transmigrate in this game, reincarnation in all other games. Now, Cameron is part of the Scout class. Scout class is a very interesting class in this game, because... Uh, you remember how I was talking about there is a way to change the geo panels in the item world? This is your way of doing it. They have a, a special skill called Geo Change, which lets you change the map one per... lets you change the geo layout of the map once per map. So, in other words, sometimes it'll clear out the entire field of geo panels, sometimes it'll add some, sometimes... It's the it, first time I noticed it also works on any maps we've already beaten. Yes. Basically, the reason to use it is, if there's an effect you don't like, or you want geo symbols for some reason, you can use this. Also, Dark Cannon, which is a, uh, summons a turret, which you can control for a bit, then it becomes an NPC the next turn, which will attack anyone close to it. There the more you level it up. It's actually, both of these actually work as magic skills, so who knows, I might actually try to get learn him some magic, even though he has terrible staff mastery. Right, he's good. Yes. Alright, well, now that that's over and done with, I'll take the time to explain transmigration really quick, since we're getting into it. Now, transmigration is basically, I'm, I'm not gonna do it right here, but I'm gonna show what it's like if you want to. You can basically set a character's aptitude level 
depending on how much mana they have. And uh, depending on how much mana they have and which aptitude level they are, they get a better skill boost. You can uh, change their skill distribution and such. Like if I want to make Waharo a uh, more of a tank, I just put everything into HP. Now I'm not going to press done because I bet that's going to actually reincarnate him. Even though, even if it doesn't, I just want to be safe and not actually reincarnate him. Excuse me, transmigrate him. But, uh, it's basically a way you can, uh, translate any other characters. Uh, main characters can only transmigrate into themselves, as you know. However, uh, characters who are, uh, not generic characters can transmigrate into most any other class. All, uh, generic human char humanoid characters can transmigrate into... Any humanoid class or a Prinny. Any monster class can transmigrate into any monster class, including Prinnies. Uh, Prinnies can transmigrate into humanoid or monster classes. Which is how I got Cameron to become... Human! Yes, as you can see, I transmigrated him off screen. Ha ha ha. If you don't want to spoil the magic, it's like... I transmigrate my spirit in for those of you who want to know how I secretly did it. Okay. And transmigrate characters have a better stat boost than most characters do, and they also gain EXP slightly faster. So, I think that is quite enough for today. We've just started exploring the Narrow Palace, and we forced somebody into our group. So, next time on Disgaea, Hour of Darkness, we will continue our mission to get Money! See you guys next time. Laters. I do.